great to connect you with an Atlanta native. Are you not native? Atlanta Georgia native. born. Yeah, all yeah, oh, right. And a dog. I'm a dog, yeah. So I'm curious. Buffy, Alias, The District, Star Trek. You've appeared in all these different... Charmed. Charmed. <laughs> and so on. Yeah. As an actor. Right. But you're in Atlanta. You go to UGA. Was that a decision to get to Hollywood? Well, not when I was 18, coming out of high school it wasn't. It was a dream, but it wasn't a reality yet. So I went to UGA, and while I was there, I discovered I loved acting and filmmaking and uh, became a filmmaking major at UGA. Um, and then after that, I began this sojourn of learning the film entertainment business as an actor, as a director, as a writer, and producer, and took me to Hollywood, and where I acted on these television series. And now I'm back home in Atlanta, where I'm directing and training and producing and Something. we're going to talk to that because a lot of young people have come through your direction are now out in L.A., so we'll find out about that. When did you know you'd hit it? Um, when I was on Buffy, that was the first thing I booked. Um, I walked in, to, actually I auditioned, I went in to audition for a Angel first as a thug. They want me to come in as a thug. Me as a thug, can you believe that? <laughs> so anyway, I walk in, and in the scene, Angel's beating me up. <clears throat> So in that part of the scene where he's hitting me, I made a little sound like, ugh, whatever. You know, I was just kind of living it, you know. And the, and the guy says, I guess it was Joss Whedon, he goes, what, 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 what are you doing? He goes, well, that's where Angel's hitting me. They were laughing, but they said, what was that? Well, that's where he's hitting me and beating me up. Oh, okay. So I didn't get that part, but two days later, I got called in for the chaos demon. And I came in, and I did all this shtick and made him laugh again. And they go, that's what we're looking for. I got hired. That was my first job. And then that's like, okay. Then I knew, because as an actor, and now I train actors, but as an actor, until you book that first gig, there's always that little doubt that, and you can't have that doubt as an actor. You have to either know or believe it's going to happen. And so once that happens, like, oh, I can do this. And then I started having really good auditions. There's a TV show called Scrubs, which I had never booked, but they put me in front of the producers like 10 or 12 times. They really liked me over there, and they kept trying to find a place for me. It's really kind of cool, because it's a business. You start creating relations with people, and casting people, when they know that you're professional and you're prepared and you do good work, they will bring you in, and they will actually try to help you get work. And work begets work. You work on something, people see you, you work on this, you know, people, you start creating a reputation. Hey, Feinberg, he was good on this. Let's see if we can get him over on here. You know, and then your agent has something to sell too. Did you see him on Buffy? Did you see him on Star Trek? Did you see him on this? His rate is now this. That's what your agent does. His rate is this if you want to work with us. So it's really kind of cool. It's really kind of cool. And then I actually left Hollywood when I was at the top of my wave because I was getting calls. I was working. I was booking. And my best friend says, why are you leaving Hollywood? Why? You're working. You've, you've made it. You've done all these things. You've worked hard. Why are you leaving? I looked at him and said, Frank, it's not in my heart anymore to be the biker, the demon, the convict, the prison guard. It's, it's not fun. I mean, I can make a living doing that, but it's not who I am. You've landed all these amazing roles. You've got all this knowledge, and you're partaking upon the folks at your great studio. But I'm just curious if you could share with our viewers, not only when it relates to acting, but when we go after our dreams, what are the three suggestions you give people? Well, you, ha you have to remember that um, it's not a competition. So if you're going up for a, a part or a job or something else, it does not matter who else is going up for the same thing. What matters is what you do in the room, what you do in the room. It's preparation, it's uh, perspiration, it's how hard you work, and it's uh, professionalism. You have to be a constant professional because your reputation is all you have in this business. And, uh, and there, it really is, in our business as an actor, there is no such thing as competition. You have to support each other, especially here in Atlanta. We have to support each other. We have to be known as a good talent pool in Atlanta. And if you and I are going up for the same role, um, I have to support you. I should support you because with when you support your friends, you, you're able to go higher. And if you don't support and nobody supports you, you can't climb nearly as high. But then again, it does not matter who's out in the hallway. What matters is what I do when I come in. That's awesome. That's great advice. And what's the best thing about becoming a dad? Man, I tell you, the best thing about becoming a dad is when I come home from work and I open the door and then I hear these voices go, Daddy! And 
his little feet run across the house, and they both jump on me, Daddy, and they snuggle in real tight, like, oh, yeah, this is, that's better than anything, anything. Well, we're proud that you're such an inspiration. We're proud that you came back from Hollywood and didn't change you, made you just a better person, and you're giving your wisdom to a lot of talented people to rise for. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you for, for sharing me. your story. You're very welcome.